What is going on guys, Revival here and welcome to a long breakdown of the full Army of the Dead Zombies trailer which is in Call of Duty World War 2 and it is the new Zombies mode to feature in their second game so I'm going to be going through a load of images that I've got from the trailer because if I put the trailer up on the screen I will get a copyright strike but it was alright in my first reaction because I was talking over the video but yeah guys, I'm going to be doing a breakdown, a full breakdown of the trailer, so stay tuned and see the breakdown of it all. I've got loads of trailers that I'll be going frame by frame with the pictures, so that I don't miss a thing in the trailer. And yeah guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and let's get into the breakdown. So the first image that I've got up on the screen is the opening intro of the cutscene and as you can see it says Activision presents and that is all to be seen, there's obviously blood on the floor and that is actually all to be seen at the moment so let's get on to the second image which is the next frame of the trailer. So as you can see here it's quite interesting, we've got some scissors which looks like to be covered in blood in a sink sort of thing as they're hanging over the edge and by the looks of it there looks like there has been a test subject which is obviously sort of designed to look like that where its skin has been ripped open from its face and you can see the skeleton and it looks like it's been going down towards its neck nothing else to see in this screenshot except from the tiles in the background of the images so yeah let's go on to the next scene so the next scene is that there is a gas mask and it looks like there is a projector in the background because they've got sort of like a black shadow with a light beaming off it focusing on this gas mask zombie which looks pretty cool and there's nothing really else to be seen in this scene but trust me the pictures images do get interesting more interesting so let's get on to the next scene for you guys so the next scene is quite interesting it was a film reel thing as you can see two film reels there and a projector shining on to this body that is hanging up against this table and as you can see right ahead there is that picture that was in the last scene of the sink where the scissors were in the sink and the picture was above with its skin all ripped open and there's also looks like there is a model of a body down on the floor underneath the body that is hanging up and where this projector is beaming off it looks like there's some sort of symbol there I can't work that out but it looks like some sort of logo for something I can't really work that out but all there is in this these walls kind of remind me of Mob of the Dead and there is a sort of either zombie board on the left or it is a door. We will find out obviously a bit more information over the coming days. So yeah, let's get on to the next thing guys. So the next thing we are all familiar as we know Victorvin in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies and Triad zombies all together wears this hat and it is a, another symbol of the Nazis logo so this is obviously featuring Nazi zombies but the mode isn't called Nazi zombies it's called Army of the Dead uh, occasionally I did think it was called Army of the Undead so that is that image so let's go on to the next image so the next image on screen is this door which is quite interesting because we get to see the Nazi symbols for the first time but it's the actual iron crosses that we're all used to seeing in Black Ops 3 zombies as you can see there's not really much to see in this sort of clip here as you can see two poles are going on to the left into this sort of tunnel door sort of thing that head into the wall next to the door here the two metal doors later in the trailer which I'll show you in just a bit you see this door open and then that is when the zombies get unleashed but as you can see there's some sandbags down there and there is a sign up there that says Spiral... Oh, sorry I've just butchered that name Spiralberg? Spiral Zeng? or something like that but yeah that is that image so let's get on to the next image so the next image is another one of those designs of how they're going to be designing these zombies which this obviously is secret group 
that are doing Germany are doing and there's also some iron bars there but yeah again there's not much to see in this image here but they're like there's some drawings in the background that I can't work out I don't know if you guys can but let me know down in the comment section and guys if you are enjoying this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more Call of Duty World War 2 zombies videos ah and then this image as we saw this is the image back on the second image that I showed you um, we saw that uh, zombies with its face whipped open concept art and another one there which looks like why is going in a human's head as we know down in the left that there is scissors but you can't see it in this image but as we know this is the same exact scene from the second image in this video because of the tiles so let's go on to the third image here so the third image is it shows a person a concept art yet again um, in this trailer it is actually all cinematics like you probably saw in my live reaction that it is just cinematic gameplay it's not really much gameplay going on but in here there's another image here there is some writing on this these two images there's that image on the right where the pipes are going well wires are going into the human's head there there's obviously some clips of paper that are obviously non-textured because we can't see what there is there's blood on the wall there's a knife there probably going into some body parts some red down on the corner of the right there and there is an image of the human there with its skull open showing top of the brain so let's get on to the next image which is that door again it shows the door it shows the door multiple times in the trailer as we know this map is set in germany but yeah that is the another image of the um door in this trailer as we see the door progress open more and more during the trailer and then we get our first shot of our zombie which says down in the in the corner don't forget this video was recorded when the trailer was leaked but it says here replacement soldier it won't actually say that in the proper trailer but it, it is the exact same trailer that will be shown on thursday well today but yeah that is our picture of our first image it looks like there is some pretty gory stuff going on there around the head area and around on the left of its chest there towards its torso down below sort of thing and there's some smoke and then in the trailer he does actually fade so he disappears so yeah it could be some sort of boss zombie we don't know yet so the next image on the screen is this it's quite interesting it sort of reminds me of the rise and drop a little bit where you got before you go out into the rocket area um in this image it actually is full of electric so it could be easter egg related or it actually could be a trap it looks more like a trap but underneath it looks like there's some sort of secret base going on there so let's get on to the next image and it's shown the same image but a different angle and it's actually at the bottom of where the image was first shown where it was at the top so this is at the bottom so yeah that is electric so it could be a trap that we could be seeing in this new mode so let's get on to the next image which is a quite exciting one for you guys so the next image is this which kind of me it does look like a teleporter but then it also does look like testing sort of things going on but as you can see there's a load of metal lighting but to me it does look like a teleporter let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this image here just type image 18 down in the description give a brief description of what you think this image looks like it is quite an exciting image because it could either be a teleporter or it could be something else and there's obviously all loads of things surrounding it and there's obviously two um nazi symbols there which is the iron crosses so let's get on to the next image guys and the next image is actually that door like i said it's starting to open and as you can see here it is opening and the next image shows a little bit more and this image here kind of reminds me of the giant with the whole clock sort of thing but as you can see the clock says 9 p.m and as we know it's 9 p.m is because it is dark outside and as you can see this is set outside as you can see the metal gates are down in the left there and there is a building right here for and by looks of it yeah it's definitely set out in the 
in the night time so let's get on to the next image guys so the next image is a image that sort of shows bats that in the trailer they come out of this door and all of a sudden these bats just fly into the air but there's not really much to see except from dynamic weather which looks to be like snow and later in the trailer you do see the characters that walk on snow so this map is set out in obviously cold snowy night time but yeah they are bats we don't know what they are yet but they could be a boss round or some sort like that so let's get on to the next image uh, the next image is our first look at the characters one of the characters which looks like to be a coloured female lady in armed sort of war wear as you can see there and then the next image here well there's also a truck in the background so it looks like one of the shadows of evil trucks in um shadows of evil back up three map with the iron cross and obviously there's some crates on the back there nothing we need to see here uh, and there are two of our other characters there um so there's obviously a gate there not really much again to see here it's just that they're wearing war clothes that normal people would wear when they were fighting in the war so the next image is our last character there and he is obviously wearing some pretty war war clothes and as you can see the snow on the floor it doesn't really look too textured much i'm a little bit worried on how like the textures are going to look but don't forget this is alpha stage of the map so yeah let's go on to the next image the next image is quite exciting you can see um here that it's sort of like a drain sort of well sort of thing but the next image shows otherwise is the our characters that are walking over it and as you can see this is seems to be quite a big map and it sort of seems to be set out in like an abandoned town because you've got a bridge over there you can like you've got a church in a far distance you've got lights on which looks like to be shops and uh, they obviously had a testing facility down underneath which is the next image here and this is where it gets interesting guys this thing here in the middle it's sort of like a door sort of testing and look at all the gore there's all like blood all over the floor it looks really well textured um this does look like it's something to do with easter egg related maybe maybe pack a punch you don't no, but look at all the chains, like probably where they hang the bodies and where they tested the zombies. But look at all that blood, it does look pretty gory. I know Glenn Schofield did say it's going to be gory, it's going to be something that they've never done before. But yeah, that is that image, so let's go on to the next image. So the next image is sort of like this big air balloon port thing and there's also a church with a clock and as you can see it is set out in the night time in this sort of time it's not it doesn't really show that it's not snowing unless I can't see the snow unless you guys can but to me are we going to get dynamic weather a bit like in Origins in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 but yeah guys this thing here the big balloon sort of cart aeroplane sort of thing I don't know what it's called please don't put to me in the comments <laughs> but yeah this sort of thing reminds me in origins where it's flying above the agartha sort of teleporter hole thing when you're out in the middle of the map and yeah guys let's get on to the next image so the next scene in the trailer does look to be like some sort of mystery box with a zombie's face sticking out and with Oh, hold on, I just realised, yes, it is the mystery box, guys, it does look like steam is coming off this box, and if you can see on the zombie's helmet sort of head, there is a sort of question mark, as you can see, the circle looks like a C, but backwards with a dot, so that is confirmed to be the mystery box in the zombie's new zombies mode which i can't believe i'm probably the first to notice this that i've actually found the mystery box so yeah guys that is the mystery box in the new zombies call of duty world war 2 zombies mode so let's go up to the next image that mystery box looks pretty sick <laughs> so the next image here is pretty gory as you can see in front of us the zombie is walking 
and there looks to be intestines coming out of his stomach there and it also seems to be bodies all on these testing tables with all sorts of things on the floors and sort of like chairs and big saws hanging up there which look quite creepy I reckon this moment is going to be very scary so be prepared for my first reaction for the when I'll be live streaming this mode <laughs> So the second image is a screenshot here, it's probably one of the screenshots on where we first got that teaser when it was revealed back in April that, that there would be zombies and it, it sort of reminds me of that poster that they teased us with the eye, if they've got no eyes it's just completely blindness but yeah guys I thought that's quite a good image to put in the trailer that they've done. So the next image is that door thing again that we saw underneath the um, well tunnel sort of thing and there's a zombie here and as you can see the gore on this, the blood splurting out its arm on the right there and all the blood all on the floor there where a zombie's just been killed. Earlier on there wasn't really much blood where this door sort of pack punch thing looks like, easter egg sort of thing looks like and then where this zombie's been killed it does look like a load of blood has been added so gore looks like it's going to be coming back so yeah let's get into the next image so the next image is our first look at one of the guns and it looks like a doubled barreled shotgun with also a zombie in the background there and one of our characters holding this gun that's all t in this image i'm just pointing out like the main factors in these images from the trailer that i took uh, so the next image is quite a scary one. It looks like this zombie's jaw has been completely ripped open where the testing has gone wrong. When you look at the detail, you can see its teeth, the eyes, the gore inside his mouth. And as these are obviously German soldiers, Nazi soldiers, which are now called Nazi zombies. So the next image is this one here. It shows another image of our different type of zombie here and it is a zombie as you can see zombies with teeth and it's also got the hat on that we showed at the beginning of the trailer that Rick Robin had in Black Ops 3 when it came to Zombies Chronicles they had to redesign the hat instead of Nazi so yeah guys let's get on to the next image so the next one's quite interesting is fire and it does look like some big boss zombie in there there is actually a boss zombie in this trailer uh, the images are further on in the video which is towards the end i have got some scary screenshots of the boss zombie in action but yeah there's nothing really much to see here just that there's fire and there's a couple of buildings and it is outside and yeah that's just a zombie a boss zombie or it could be a normal zombie just a set on fire one so next image sort of represents the last image where we saw fire so this could be a new boss hand and it these zombies look completely burnt out with crisp burnt out like a crisp and look at the detail on these sledgehammer have gone to town with their detail look at the skull look at like the hands well there's no hands but like the cuffs and they're just completely burning let's just look at the detail on this it's pretty sick so the next image is a bunch of zombies obviously wearing Nazi zombies uniform. Nothing really much to see here that they've just got hats and that. That's all there. And so the next image is quite an interesting one is an underground. It looks like this map is going to be absolutely huge. And yeah, there's quite a lot of blood, some barrels there. It looks like there's uh, some sort of metal caging in the background there. But this reminds me sort of like Mob of the Dead, the Cathedral Tunnels. Just giving me vibes of Mob of the Dead. This map, I don't know why, but it just that if they're going that way, Sledgehammer are doing a brilliant job. And yeah, guys, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And the next image is this guy here with the sword. I know Milo, Mr. Rough Waffles, mentioned in his video that he got a letter from Sledgehammer Games and it was from one of the characters and mentioned something about a sword. So we could we be coming into contact with this? guy here it's just a big statue so next image is this one another image of the zombie with that hat again it does look very detailed and some zombies in the background that look like they're on fire 
and the next image is this one it looks like this could be our spawn room which would be pretty sick because we can see zombies like coming towards us where they've obviously coming out of their operations where they've obviously been tested on and they've been awakened look at all the detail all on the floor for all that blood and this is an image that we saw earlier with the zombie walking past with the intestines as you can see the sores and the sores hanging from the walls and that and bodies all on the table so the next image is this one here this could be our starting pistol which is does look like the M1911 that would be a blessing to have that gun back in zombies like we had in zombies chronicles so this is pretty sick that we're going to be getting the M1911 back in zombies for Call of Duty World War 2 and there is another fucked up zombie that looks pretty scary it looks like he's been all burnt and look look at the detail look at all the bloody detail looks like there's barbed wire sort of barbed wire around his neck there can't believe how much detail they have gone to town in this props to sledgehammer and all the team that have done this so next image is a different image it's actually sort of this now sort of reminds me of pack sort of thing pack a punch because you can see like all these wires coming from this machine but it actually isn't you watch in a couple of minutes time that this is something big coming and I mean it so there's the image yet again and this is where things get spooky guys and this is where we're going to be showing the boss zombie in just a moment but yeah there is just this zombie here the detail on this thing is just fucking amazing with the teeth like that so and there it's just flashing back to that scene with the projector where it's shining on the zombie that is hanging up and that zombie's picture there with its face all torn off and the next image is here this is where things get exciting this thing in here is actually where they keep the boss zombie and in the trailer the german guy that sounds like richtofen actually says that he has made the devil come true sorry that i literally ran out of breath because i'm recording this all in one for you guys so yeah that is where the boss zombie comes from and he is showing like sledgehammer games are showing the snippets of this zombie which absolutely looks crazy it's got yeah and there he is again in action with all oh, look at the detail on this thing looks like he's got some metal arm sort of thing maybe a bit like the mangler from Gorob Crowley where he shoots something at you maybe and then this is what gets me guys this is what gets me a little bit worried it does look like an exoskeleton but maybe it could be just supporting his back but yeah this is definitely the boss zombie because of how big he actually is and the way he walks in the trailer but yeah there is another zombie there with a melee weapon being stabbed by one of our characters as you can see right in front of us it's sticking up and there is another zombie that we saw earlier nothing new there and here is one of our melee weapons that we saw in the actual multiplayer trailer and there's obviously another iron cross in the background and it's obviously one of our characters using this so we're going to be killing zombies brutally with one of these which will be very exciting and here again just in this image we see these big flames coming up out of the ground which looks like to be one of the um tunnels that we see in the trailer where the uh, characters walk over and just there it does look like a sentry gun which you know in exo zombies where we got those orbital drops where atlas helped us and we could pick them up to kill zombies well it looks like they could be returning which looks pretty sick so the next image is another image of the boss zombie and it kind of reminds me of an exo zombies boss sort of because of the way they designed him there but that was done by Raven Software, this is done by Sledgehammer Games, so as you can see that is some big spiky thing that is going to be shoved up your ass, and that will really hurt. <laughs> so here he is again and there's the M1911 in action again, we don't know if it will be a starting weapon but it seems more likely throughout the trailer that it keeps on showing it and also the it could also be in the mystery box and there is boss zombie in action there again. And here he is again with those big massive legs with like all these metal bars 
and barbed wire wrapped around that spiky thing there and here he is there he sort of looks like with the saw sort of thing you know the sort of movies where they have that thing where it crushes their heads so he's obviously had one of them fitted on his head and there he is again with his protruding teeth and there is he again he looks massive and looks like in the background that's sort of like where he's kept where they've had all the testing facilities and yeah guys that has been this breakdown of this big big trailer i really hope you guys enjoyed it it has taken me hours to put this together thank you so much for watching see if we can reach 10 likes in the video that would be absolutely crazy and please subscribe it really does help out the channel and you can also follow me down in the description on twitter at revivalytc and thank you so much for watching and goodbye